And just like we bow when we walk in to start class, we bow with the five together. So ready? How do we bow? Feet together, hands to the side, and bow. Excellent. First, we got to get warmed up and make our muscles nice and warm. So we're going to do some jumping jacks. So what you're going to do, and your feet are going to spread out, and your hands go over your head just like that. All right, and then back. And every time your hands go up, I want you to count. All right, we're going to do 10. Stay with me. Go ahead. One. Two. You have to count nice and loud. Three. Four. Go. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good job. Spread your feet apart. Bring your hands out to the side and roll your arms forward. So normally we do more than a ten jumping jacks. You get warmed up. Then after you get warmed up, you spread your muscles through And now go backwards. Now, first rule was that we bow when we walk in. The second rule is whenever an instructor or teacher like me says to do something, to guy, you say yes, sir. So if I say, Cross your arms and then open up, you would say, yes, sir. All right, so let's try again. If I say, put your hands in your hips, you say, yes, sir. Hands your hips. And you say? Yes, sir. Very good job. Now lean over this way. Good. And the reason we do that is so that I know you're listening. And you heard what, what I said to do. Switch over to the other side and you say, yes, sir. Now reach down and grab that ankle with both hands. Try to keep your legs straight and see how close you can get your head to your knees. And grab the other ankle. And you say what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Close. And one hand on each. And stand up. Shake those arms and legs up. Take a seat. We're going to go over our punch first. All right, put your hands out just like this. I want you to curl your fingers in and then put your thumb on the outside. Now, what would happen if we hit like a wall or a target and our thumb was on the inside? What do you think? Would that feel good? Or would it hurt? It would hurt, right? So thumbs on the outside all the time, just like you've got. Take this hand, put it on top of the other one. Good. I want you to take the one on top, flip it over, and put it back. So it starts on top and then it goes right next to it, just like that. Good, and put it back and flip it over and put it back and flip it over and put it back and flip it over and put it back and flip it over. Now keep it there. Now take that hand that you just flipped over and pull it back to your hip, right to your waist. Not all the way behind you, right there. See where mine is? Good, resting on your body. Ready? Switch your hands and yell, go. Good, and does this hand go way back here or right here? Right there, good. Ready? Switch your hands and yell, aya! Yeah. Good, where's that hand? There we go. And switch them again, aya! Yeah. Good, and stand up for me. Yes, sir. Yes. All right, now bend your knees like you're sitting on a big horse. Put your hand out for a punch. Good, and where does this one go? Right on your hip, right like that. Good, thumb on the outside. Good, so put that thumb from there to there. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Good. All right, now look at me. Bend those knees. Put your hand out. We're going to aim towards the stomach right now, okay? So my eyes on me. We're going to switch our hands every time I count and yell. Ready? One. Aya. Aya. Good. And you have to yell louder than me. Ready? Two. Aya. Aya. Three. Aya. Aya. Four. Aya. And five. Aya. Good. Now, look at yourself in the mirror. Use your hand and cover up your nose in the mirror. All right, so put your hand up. Good. Other one right on your head. Good. Now you're going to punch so you cover your nose in the mirror when I count. Ready? One. Aya. Aya. Good. And where's that other hand go? Right there. Good. Two. Aya. Yeah. Three. Aya. Aya. Good. Four. Aya. Aya. Good job bringing that hand back. And five. Aya. Aya. Very good job. Now bring your feet together. Hands to your side. Now this is how we stood when we bowed. This is called standing at attention. All right? And when we stand like this, we're showing good self-control, which means to control yourself. All right? So if any of the instructors or the teachers ask what self-control means, it means to control yourself. All right? Which is important because we're learning punches and kicks. Can we just go and use them on dad if we want? No. What about on a pet on, or on, on a friend? No. Right? So it's only okay to practice here or if someone's trying to hurt us. But definitely here we want to practice. 